my financial friend made a video on actual updates for crypto. And this time he made a very important update. And that is being said, where will crypto go in a few years? And people will be bought fighting for the last Bitcoin, or at least that's what he's saying. And I find it uh, very fascinating. Like crypto just saw a major, major mega rally. And I do think it's getting started in a sense that we are going to be seeing so much more of these mega rallies coming into place in the next few days. So I'll keep you guys updated with that, with more news on everything that's going on in the crypto space. If you want to be kept up to date, smash that like button. Is how hard it will be to get your hands on a Bitcoin, a tenth of a Bitcoin, a hundredth of a Bitcoin years down the line, how rare it will become. Today, I want to do something a little bit different. We'll be talking about that because that's just so imperative for what what the topic is. But a lot of people want to know, what's Bitcoin going to be doing in 20 years, in 40 years? So that's a very good question. Like we can only speculate, right? And in 20 to 40 years, it's a really long time. You, it might pass by fast, but in crypto history, crypto is only 10 years old. So 20 years, it's going to be 30 years old. And in 40 years, it's going to be... No, <laughs> in 20 years, it's going to be 30 years old. And in 40 years, it's going to be 50 years old. So in 50 years of crypto, it just blows my mind that crypto is like just going to get started. And I think this is where the excitement really does come in for a lot of people. Like if crypto starts so positive on that note, it just means it's just getting started in that sense. We are going to be seeing so many more improvements in that sense uh for the crypto markets what's going to happen after the last bitcoin's mind how does that all work and how does it contribute and i do think after the last bitcoin is mined, there's going to be a big big demand in 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 actual bitcoin prices that's where i'm slightly worried with crypto like if there's going to be such a big demand like what will people do in that aspect like this will be very very worrying but I will keep you guys updated on that pretty much shortly. To what people think about it today, right? If in 20 years, you know, 2043 is coming around and we're wondering if, if, if Bitcoin's still gonna be around, right? That might be price. I'm still gonna be making videos. Either there's two scenarios happening. One scenario is me working in like McDonald's and me telling like people when I'm like on my smoke break, people telling like, oh, you know, um, you know that coin Shiba Inu or Bitcoin? Well, I bought some of it. And that's one scenario. Like, uh, and, and, and trying to convince people, hey, I really got into crypto when I was early and things like that. And the other scenario, well, it's really much simpler than that. And it's, um, I, I do think the other scenario I prefer much, much more. And that is that I will basically be really really still making videos for such a long time that my content will be good at that point Priced into the market cap right now that might be priced into the market cap in 20 years you might have to change what you buy when you i think the market cap could easily hit like multiples of trillions at that point and that's why people are excited for that matter like why people want to talk about bitcoin at that price levels because it's exciting it's obviously an exciting thought to see crypto rise up that fast like who doesn't like that idea i certainly do i want to see crypto you know at, at at 500 trillion like but it just doesn't make sense also there's going to be inflation that's what you gotta count in but it doesn't matter seems like there's going to be a ton of opportunities in this crypto space overall so there's going to be tons of stuff you sell depending on what Bitcoin's going to be doing. Now, of course, I'm not a time traveler. I can't see the future, but I do know what will happen in 117 years when the last Bitcoin's mined. We can already see what's kind of happening now. So, yeah, I, I crypto was basically made in that sense um, for crypto holders. So that being said, I do think there is potential for, for, for crypto. Which gives us a huge indication as to what's happening in the future. And like some of these numbers are nuts. Uh, you just don't get it unless you look into it, unless you study this kind of stuff. I mean, there's like literally professor studying at this point. So that's what's pretty weird to me. Like 
But you can actually see that what's happening right now is Bitcoin difficulty. So like the average block time is 10 minutes. It's going to be harder and harder to mine Bitcoin. It's going to be harder and harder to get Bitcoin. High Bitcoin fees are inevitable. So we are going to be getting high Bitcoin fees. It currently costs over $37. Imagine in Venezuela, like how hard, how expensive Bitcoin could be if it's, they have it on, on Bitcoin Lightning Network, which is like a very cheap alternative. It's, um, it's very cheap in gas fees, but just imagine like, look at this. We're already at its all time peaks for, for these average transaction fees that we saw before. And I remember in 2018, the transaction fees were already big. These are, what are we seeing like a year ago? When all the Bitcoins mined, we'll still be able to run transactions. This shows you how rare Bitcoin is though. So Bitcoin per day mined right now is 900, give or take. So you have about 900 Bitcoin per day. I think that's uh, not that much actually. When you look at like these big, this is like multiple mining farms, like people being employed to mine Bitcoin. Just let that sink in. It's not like a hobby project. There's literally big companies that want to mine at least one Bitcoin a day. 2060, there's less than a Bitcoin mined every day by all the miners. So 2060, they're going to be fighting for one Bitcoin. 2060 is the price where people will be fighting for every single Bitcoin. Even about 2032, there's only going to be 100 Bitcoin a day, which is still a lot. It's, it's going to be less in supply, but it's still something... It still matters, right? And 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 I am just really shocked in that sense. Like crypto is gonna be seeing massive, massive price changes in the following few days. Uh, in that matter, once people realize that this is happening, like that Bitcoin is gonna be unavailable in, I don't know how many of us are gonna be alive at this point. Maybe we're all gonna be on artificial computers, but. It's what keeps me up at night. Like literally there is a lot of opportunities in the crypto space. There is a lot of people still staying bullish on crypto. And this is where I think the markets will improve. Like this is where I think people will stay engaged with crypto. And we'll get more of that Bitcoin until it evens out. There should always, they should always be either profitable or right on the edge of profitable because otherwise people will unplug and then the miners that are left will get more Bitcoin and more Bitcoin and more Bitcoin. And then when it becomes profitable again, then more miners will plug in. So it, it naturally stays at kind of an equilibrium, a homeostasis. Now, after 2060, there's less than a Bitcoin mined every day by all the miners in the world. That is crazy to think about. Now, I want to show you a couple other columns here that are really interesting too. So the Bitcoin per year will be about 164,000 Bitcoin after this next halving. So still a lot of Bitcoin being mined, but as time goes on and as more of the supply hits the market, it becomes harder and harder to mine. So this is the point here. It's 2050, 2040 is going to pass fast. And he makes a very fair point here. Like crypto right now, it's steadily available. And the reason why a lot of these exchanges are buying is because they're making like the idea, the assumption that crypto in the future near days, and I'm talking truly near days, is not going to be available, is not going to be having a steady supply. And I think that's where people um, are really seriously starting to get worried in a sense, like with, with crypto, where people like are okay I'm going to like stay in crypto, be stronger. Uh, but that being said, let's talk more about this pretty much soon. New Bitcoin. I mean, in 2060, for example, there's going to be a very small amount of Bitcoin that's being mined every year still. So, I mean, 320 Bitcoin mined from every miner in the world in one year. Like I said, less than one a day. Let's move further down. All right, let's just uncover all of this. By 2096, there'll be less than one Bitcoin mined every year by every miner in the world. That's crazy. So we can look at this too. The supply of Bitcoin, the max supply is about 21 million, exactly 21 million. So let's look at the supply left. Right? There'll be about 7.3% of the Bitcoin left by the time the next Bitcoin halving happens. 
So keep that in mind. So there is going to be a very small supply left by 2052. Now, I do think by that time, the institutions will already buy up like a majority of crypto tokens. There will be no reasons for these institutions to not like... They will definitely stay around in, in the crypto space. Um, and I do think, in my opinion, like we are just st seeing the start of that crypto bull run rise that we wanted to see. Like by 2023, 2024, the entire Bitcoin supply, like most of the Bitcoin supply is going to get bought up by the by the big institutions. And here he makes a very fair point. There's going to be less and less supply left and there's going to be also more Bitcoin loss. So what people didn't predict is there's going to be really more Bitcoin prices like going up because people will lose their wallets. People will um, actually have lots of crypto um destroyed in that in that um sense so right now we don't know where crypto how high it can reach it's it's unlimited like but we are definitely very very early crypto and it's gonna be like multiple cycles before we see that so there is gonna be more opportunities um and i do think the crypto markets in the following years are going to be bought up by anyone really not just institutions they're going to be bought up by retail investors through spot etfs and then the banks jump in and it's going to be really a spiral effect but i'll keep more on that uh in the next few days i'll keep you guys updated with more news till next time peace everyone